Captain Dead by Robin Morris. I am Captain Dead. His voice sounded weak. I am Captain Dead, he tried again in a deeper voice. He didn't sound at all like Roger Benneker, who played the captain in all but the first two movies. Some people in the Captain Dead online group said the original actor, Gary Kohler, was the best. But there was a reason Kohler was fired, and not just because he was a drunk. He didn't have the presence, the height, that Benneker brought to the role. Eight sequels later, the decision to hire Benneker was clearly a good one. No knocking came from downstairs. That meant Dad was asleep in his chair. When awake, Dad thumped his cane on the floor to demand service. He wanted a drink. He wanted food. He wanted his pillow adjusted. He wanted to call his son a no-good fucking loser. Jason walked close to the full-length mirror to check his makeup. The greenish-gray color was just right. His smile showed a mouthful of rotting teeth, thanks to caps he bought from a real dentist. Named after Jason Voorhees, he grew up on horror movies. He saw them all. Blood and ripped flesh, bones and spilled guts were part of him. Halloween was two nights away. His costume had to be ready. The party was at the house of one of the richest families in town. Jason wasn't invited, but no one would turn away. A perfect Captain Dead. He would be perfect. He had to be perfect. Trick-or-treating was the best night of the year when he was a kid. He was Jason, Freddy, Chucky, Michael, or Captain Dead. For one evening he had power. He was scary. He was something. He was not the punching bag of a crazy man. At the age of 12, Dad saw him getting ready and said, You're too fucking old for Halloween, and locked the bedroom door. Pure hatred settled into Jason's soul after that. He never said another word to his father unless he had to. He lived in fury. Dad grew feeble as years went by, and the abuse turned from physical to verbal. When Jason heard about the party, he knew he would find his power there. He would be the best Captain Dead anyone ever saw. He made his costume by hand. He learned to use a sewing machine so he could do it right. He bought some things he needed at a store, like the tricorn hat, but he added the gold trim and the sewed the skull design himself. The thumping came. Jason ignored it. Whatever Dad wanted, it could wait. Checking his costume was more important. He wasn't just any Captain Dead. He was the star of, in his opinion, the best horror movie ever, Captain Dead 4. Some said it was just a reboot of one, but Roger Benneker made all the difference. Costume designer Laura Birch outdid herself with the captain's outfit in CD4. Jason had paused the DVD frame by frame to capture all the details. The necklace of human fingers around the captain's neck. The skull hanging from his belt. The belt itself made of bones. And the sword. That sword was so cool. The hilt was jet black, and scenes of torture were etched on the blade. You couldn't see all the details in the movie. Jason found a store online that sold replica movie props. He called the company and was disappointed that the Captain Dead sword they sold was meant to hang on a wall. It had no sharp edges. That wouldn't do at all. His boots were real. He ordered them with lifts in the heel, though he still couldn't match Roger Benneker's six foot four. His pirate shirt and pants were leather that he sewed himself. The hat was as real as he could make it. The sword had to be real. With Dad snoozing in his chair most of the time, it was easy to borrow his credit cards. Jason found a guy who built custom weapons. The guy forged the sword from raw steel, created the hilt, and hit, etched the carvings on the blade. Most important, the sword was sharp enough to draw blood with barely a touch. More thumping. The cane hit the floor faster and faster. Dad really wanted something. Captain Dead smiled. The costume still lacked the necklace of fingers, the skull, and the belt of bones. Plastic would not do. No one at the party would stare at him in awe and give him the best costume award unless everything, down to the last detail, was real. No store, physical or online, had what Jason needed. 
There was only one way to get it. He opened the door of his room and went into the hall. The stairs took him down. The thumping got louder. When he entered the living room, he saw the lumpy figure of Dad in his chair and heard the thumping of the cane. Where the fuck you been, boy? Captain Dead struck a dramatic pose. Then he drew his sword and went shopping.